Cowabunga dudes, I'm here with Chris from Redfly Studios, who uh, are the guys who are making Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows, which is, well, it's not to be confused with the, with the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles coming out of their shells tour, uh, but it is, it is the Ninja Turtles. Um, what's, I mean, explain it. It's, it's a Ninja Turtles video game. What, what's, what's special about it? Oh, uh, man, it is, it, is, it is very special. This is uh, our vision of doing a Turtles game aimed at a more adult, Turtle fan base, right? Uh, a lot of stuff comes out and is skewed, you know, really young, and basically they allowed us to have a lot of freedoms and really kind of uh, pay homage to a lot of the the old school turtles, yeah. and, and really hit that nostalgia factor. Right off the bat, you're already doing that. We're on the menu screen right now, and they're in the pose from the cover of the first comic, and right. in the background, the Partners of Crime Turtle Power song from the first movie is playing. So you have my attention. Absolutely. Uh, can we jump in here and check it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, see. So, you're playing. You're playing single player by yourself right now. Um, are are the three other ones kind of tagging along with you? Yeah. So in the normal story campaign, you'll always have all four turtles. You can switch on the fly with the D-pad. So like Leo's left, oh, Raph nice. is right, okay. Donnie's down, Mike's up. Um, so you can use that to again keep your combo going. Um, so they receive April's joined the mix. Yeah, so I can switch to Donnie. I can switch to oh, nice. Raph. Okay. Over to, to now, Leo. If you're playing, if you're playing like two player, can uh, the two players kind of swap between characters that aren't being yeah, used? Yeah, yeah, the ones that are available. And the same thing online. So if you're playing, you know, a game online and you know not everybody is is spoken for, right. then then you can you can select those. Right. Uh, navigation is also kind of a fun thing. So these guys oh, you can, can grind rails. Can grind rails. You know, you <laughs> hop over. You know, objects, you can hop up stuff. Oh, wow. So it's basically like these guys, you know, should be having fun, you know, in combat, outside of combat, everywhere, right? So see on the side, we just got a, a couple random objectives. So these are kind of side goals on your way through that you can do to get more XP. Um, so we can enter stealth mode, and then I can tell my buddies to basically hold up, and it gives me a chance to kind of go out and do a little bit of, of stealth and take some guys down without them getting in the in the way. So there's a few places throughout the game where this is possible. It's never critical, so you don't have to be stealthy. That's, that's um, always nice. So, but you have the option of, of taking some guys out, and then I'll uh, just get a little, little unlock. I can wave them on, and now they'll, they'll follow me. So um, as soon as you're spotted, you know, Everything breaks out, and now we got ninjas jumping around. Wow, Leo's actually using his swords to fight people with them. He's not like cutting down chandeliers or right. <laughs> so, and, and that's it's one thing. Like with 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 the sharp weapons, it's like there's there's you know no impaling, but uh, you know there's definitely some enemy types we're gonna get into. Robots yeah. that you can you can dismember. Are there, uh, are there mousers? There 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 are gonna be some mousers in okay. a sec. Now, how much uh, how much kind of fan service is there for the for the? Are, are we going to see some like, are we gonna see you know Bebop and Rocksteady? Are we going to see Krang? And who's who's going to make an appearance? Can you can you say anything? Any we haven't really uh, announced all the villains. Uh, like I said, we we are kind of staying in the realm of the Nickelodeon show. So um, unfortunately, like Bebop and Rocksteady haven't been shown. So uh, you know those guys will not be will not be in. So I did a little team attack. I juggled a guy up and then nice. flew up with Raph to to knock him down. Is that Baxter Stockman right so there? So that is Baxter. So he's got a little surprise for us. Uh, we got to create some unique enemies just for this game, which is pretty cool. I always wanted to know what a mouser would look like on like a human robot. So oh, wow. we created these these guys right here. And if you're watching the show, uh, Mikey really likes to name things. So these are the mansers. Uh, so uh, Rat just got uh, got KO'd. And so the, when this works, when you, when you have a player that goes down, uh, you utilize pizza to uh, revive them, <laughs> obviously. So the game's not over until all four guys go down. Can you, can you get more pizza? Uh, yeah, so there's pickups throughout, so uh, there's different projectiles in the game. So uh, shurikens, you can send shurikens, you get electric oh, shurikens. Right on, okay. Um, you know, other unique uh, weapons throughout. Um, each guy also has secondary special weapons so that when you're normally playing through the game, uh, every chapter you beat, you'll get a chance to unlock these. And these are um, 
like Mikey's Kasurigama from the new show, which is basically like the sickle on a chain, right? Um, Raph has iron fists. Oh, so it's like, I wanted something up close and personal. Um, so I can equip those by going to the inventory and then bam, now I have the iron fist. Oh, nice. So. Is there any skateboarding in the game? There's no skateboarding. Uh, but like I said, navigation is, is, is fun. So you saw us grinding the rail. Yeah, that's that's um, something that's nice. There really hasn't been any Ninja Turtles games where there's anything but beyond kind of right. <laughs> so you're jumping, you're jumping from rooftops. You know, you're you're yeah. you're basically having fun wherever wherever you go. So uh, we completed that. So April's gonna come down and check us out. Um, here we have the the hacking mini game. So I'm gonna take Donnie. Donatello, do some machines. Absolutely. So the idea with this game is you got to uh, basically connect each terminal, but without uh, blocking the next, right? So if I were to go up and do this, it blocks the green, so that you're not going to be able to complete that, uh. that puzzle. So this one is, is not very complicated, but they get more and more difficult. Okay. So and there's time bonuses. And again, like as you're upgrading, uh, you can upgrade Donnie to earn more XP when you're hacking or get like auto hack and stuff like that. So, so this is where Baxter's putting all the mouses oh, together. Man. The mouser assembly is completely automated and self generated. They use scrap, conveniently converting them into more mouses. So that's how he does it. That's very interesting. And I do not mean that. And Bossa Nova. Nova. <laughs> Most of the, the story is kind of shown through comic panels. Uh, we felt like that was a really appropriate medium, you know, with the, with the history of the turtles. Um, give our concept artist a, a great sh opportunity to, to show off a little bit. Really capture the turtles in, in a lot of those. So here we have the Mousers. You can actually throw these guys as projectiles. Oh, nice. And they'll explode. The red and uh, Got some tutorials going. Uh, so there's, there's countering. There's countering. Um, it's it's similar to, you know, uh, some other games that do kind of the, the balance of offense and defense where, you know, if you over attack, you're probably going to get hit from behind. Um, but it's a little more deliberate. So you have normal attacks and then you also have kicks. And then you can mix those together mm. to create kind of unique combos. And like I said, with the special attacks with the right stick, I can do big smashes on guys. Oh, nice. Um, so it's, so it's, it's, yeah, with the with the right stick, it really goes beyond the kind of standard, you know, just right. light, light heavy. It's that, that level of mastery where, you know, as a young gamer, you can pick it up and just button mash and have fun. But if you really want to dive into it, you want to play for leaderboards and stuff, then, you know, you're, you're going to want to master the system and throw in the specials you know, be able to pick guys up and throw them, um, do the team attacks, all that good stuff. So are these like, these are super foot soldiers kind of? They're all wearing like scary masks and stuff? Yeah, so these are, these are the, the grenade guys. So these ah. guys have, have projectiles, uh, slightly tougher. Um, you'll fight different versions of the foot. So right now I have the, the, the gravity gauntlet, uh, which is actually from like old Turtles comic fiction. Um, so as you build it up, you can do special attacks with it that are, you know, almost like, not quite game breaking, but incentive to play the game, build up, like I can lift him up, oh. you know, smack him down, and then I'm gonna switch to Leo. Uh, this is way to go up. Um, Cause you can use that to like juggle and stuff like that. Give him some pizza. You can do that. I love the, I love the pizza box with a little red cross on it. Like med oh, medical grade go, pizza. Yeah, of course it's the health kit. How much, how much of a, how long is the campaign, would you say? Uh, the normal campaign uh, for, for most folks is going to be five to six hours. Um, and then, like I said, after that, you're going to uh, unlock challenge modes. You're going to unlock survival mode, arcade modes. Um, so it's going to be, you know, all in all, you know, eight to ten hours probably of yeah. content. Uh, nobody's going to beat survival mode the first time either. Like it's 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 uh it's really tough. So uh, the next batch is ready. Are they gonna dance? 
<laughs> oh, they look like a little thriller. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, get, get the pizza. pizza. Um, then there'll also be, you know, concept art and other collectibles that you'll find throughout the Good game. God, look at all those collectibles. Uh, electric shurikens. Um, all kinds of cool stuff. Any uh, sweet vanilla ice music videos or anything? <laughs> Um, it, we we kind of left it at, at Turtle Power. We wanted that to be the, yeah. <laughs> the shining. Now there is the Go Ninja Go Dance is in here. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we'll, we'll show that off in, yeah. in arcade. Nice to take down. Ooh. Nice. Oh. Can you use yo-yos or pepperoni as weapons at all? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> God, there's gonna be like a bunch of like 15 year olds watching this who are like, what are they talking about? What is this? Is Casey Jones gonna make an appearance? Man, that would that would be fantastic. Uh, I'd love to do some DLC. This is Casey think, Jones. Uh, so I play a Casey Jones solo game. I think awesome. I think that would be that would be awesome. You know, maybe if enough fans ask for it, we can yeah. make it happen. I guess, I guess in the meantime, there's always like, well, I guess Saints Row. Right. I could probably make Casey Jones pretty soon. <laughs> so here we've got the reveal. This is uh, kind of where the where the trailer uh, the trial picks up or ends up. What the hell is that? <laughs> that is uh, Baxter's pet. It's the Cerberus Nostra right there. Oh dear God. So. That is such a video game boss. Dear God, look at it. So that was all the single player campaign. Uh, how does the arcade mode work? Let's, let's, can we jump in there with some friends? Yeah, so our arcade is, is something we wanted to do uh, you know, to really get people's attention. There's not enough games that do couch co-op anymore. And the true way to appreciate Turtles is, is, is four people together playing. Yeah. You know, online is fantastic. Uh, but there's just something nice about, about Couch yeah, Co-op, uh, right? The Ninja so, Turtles arcade game is a, just a classic. Absolutely, right? So we, we wanted to, you know, to pay homage to that, and we took all of the fantastic, you know, uh, combat mechanics of the game and put them in a nice little side-scrolling package here. So we're going to show off uh, a couple of those levels. Nice. And, uh, so this is... Um this is all side scrolling, all four people on, on the screen at the same mm -hmm. time. There's no, no split screen, nothing like that. Right. Okay, that's nice. Once, and like we were talking about, like the, uh, if you do drive and go ahead and hit A, uh, your, the environmental interaction. So like you can evade up walls, you can, oh, you can nice. run off stuff, you know. Um, Get so. hyped. <laughs> little team high five there. So this is, yeah, this is. Very familiar. <laughs> uh. So as you're as you're building your combo up, if you see it go to ten hits, it'll change colors. You'll do a turtle power KO, nice. which, which Donnie just did right there. Um, basically, like the one hit KO. So if we all come together real quick, we can do a little team taunt. Let's do it. So, so we get a little team uh, high five. No, there we go. Go ninja. Uh, go ninja. Go. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay with that. If it, if it feels like you can interact with it, you probably can. And stuff like that, you just ran off the wall, but you can jump kick out of it. So you can use, you know, the interaction stuff to keep your combo going. You can use it to, like, like with the pole here, to swing around. Um, and like I said, we've also got the, the team interaction. So I can grab a hold of you. We do the bowling ball from the movie. Oh, um, uh, left shoulder is shuriken. You can kill the shuriken action if you want. Oh, So this it really starts to ramp up in difficulty. So, you know, the normal game is, is pretty tough, um, but arcade is really where, you know, it, it really starts to get, uh, get crazy. I dare anybody to beat it solo. You know, obviously it's much more fun with, with, with multiplayer, but um, it's brutal. And the first couple layer levels are pretty easy, and then it, it, it really starts ramping. And how, long, how, many, uh, how many stages is the arcade? Uh, seven. Okay. Basically one for every environment. Okay. And those, those get unlocked as you go through the campaign? Yeah. Is he dead? Yeah. Oh, and so then you get a little recap, you know, and see, see who did what. You get bragging rights. Well, right on. So that's, that's arcade out of the shadows. Uh, when is this out? How much is it? Uh, it's 
part of Summer of Arcade, so it's going to be out uh, August 28th, uh, $15 price point. Um, I think for the, for the content, you know, I, I hope Turtles fans really embrace it. Um, I look forward to, to playing with you guys online. Cool. Yeah, and it's, it's also coming to PSN? It will be also on PSN and Steam. Right on. So that's, yeah, that's, that's everywhere. That's going to be 15 bucks everywhere. Kind of across yeah. the board. Yep. Well, awesome. Chris, thank you Man, so much for talking. Thank you guys for coming Game by. Game looks good. Cowabunga, dudes. Booyakasha. <laughs>